Good afternoon, everyone. This is Alfredo. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Just working on a couple of things here. We're going to get started uh, pretty shortly. Just want to make sure everything's going to look proper for you. Uh, let's see how the overlay. Do, 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 do. Oh, it says it's on. That's weird. Do I need to move it up above, maybe? Okay. Let's see. The custom. All right, we looks like we're okay and good and clear to go. Let me bring up Crapsy over on this other screen. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, crap. Give me a second. Let me. So small, I should have my glasses on. All right, it's this one. All right, pull it back down. Put turbo on. Close it. All right, uh, turn off studio mode. Okay, I uh, don't see that anyone's checked in just yet. I know there's one person in Crapsy. Uh, let's see who's on the feed here. All right, we got uh, seven people actually watching. So uh, jump into Crapsy. I'll put in the code here. Uh, it's the recurring table. So um, that same, same bankroll. You can get up to the three thousand dollar rebuy at a time. Um, just nothing over that. We don't want to give any advantages to anyone over another person, but there's certainly uh, opportunity uh, with that. Uh, we are doing using so. I guess I'll put uh, crap C code up to three K rebuy. Um, do, 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 do. If you have questions, type Q or TCS. In front. Uh, using four two or six set no changes only mechanics as we document roles and face hits. All right, we'll uh. Put this one up there and then put it up here. I did see uh, we had SJ in the house. Marble, how's it going? And we'll repin this one back up. Let's see if this is giving me the same feed. Get your bets in. We're about to head to the table. Uh, we've hit a tall or small or multiple times hit one of the sides every day for the last three days. So that's interesting. Um, and I don't have more than 10 shooters, typically usually about five or six uh, tops, sometimes a little over that maybe. Uh, so technically if you're betting the same amount, it is profitable to be on the all tall small. That's the current trend. That does not mean that that's gonna be the case today. Uh, just be aware of that. All right. Let's 
give you a little bit more time. Get in there and get ready. Okay. And uh, we'll need a little crap. A little checker, Rooney. All right, we're going to transition the feed over to the table view. All right, we got the table view here. Uh, we can switch it as well. If if I was betting, I could switch it to the, to see what what I'm betting. Um, but there you go, clean setup. Uh, we're about to go get started, in. we'll hear the little entry thing here. Uh -oh. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. A uh, little fun thing gets to record sometimes. All right. Uh, let's see how that looks there. Uh, maybe like that should be okay. Let's reset that. Okay. Just trying to get everything situated to where it's easiest for me to to enter stuff. Uh, probably pull this around the side of that. Green deck there. All right, we're about to get out. All right, dice are out. No All right, that looks to be like someone new, huh? Oh, my career Miller, how's it going? Looking forward to some good rolls tonight. If anyone can do it, you can. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Uh, you never know. You never know. It's, people say it's all random. I just try to put in enough practice to hopefully influence a little bit of that. That's about it. All right. Dice are going to be out. We'll leave with where or we'll start where, where we left off, which was making sure that the finger length on the on the dice is right. And we got a hard six. So that is a primary hit to start us off. It's a bottom, bottom primary. Mark up that six. I believe the window is right there for you to see. Mark up to point. Mark up the ATS. All right. Hopefully, get your bits in. We'll try to go at a decent pace as much as possible. Stop every once in a while to say hi. All right. Our bets to start, uh, we'll, we tend to do okay with a pass line. We'll go across one level of green ship, one level of red in the inside. And uh, since we hit a hard way, we will press them up. All right. This is out. Right. And we got a yo, five, six, yo. Okay. 
All right. You was the call. No changes. Uh, I might pick up a horn high, a deuce, and grab a yoke. All right. <clears throat> you will mark the yo. Uh oh, lots of. Uh, lots of pings. Our national tournament going on. We have a lot of people getting their shots in. If you need a host, let me know. That's right. And we got a five, three, two, five. So interesting question, Microgamular. What do you consider a really good role? Because, you know, people might see an average roll, which I know people say seven, but it's probably less than that. What's a good roll to you? Anyone else want to answer that in chat? Be interesting to see. Three, two, five, Michael Jordan, FIFA, FIFA. We Uh, we were at 30 there, so we'll go. All right, that's right. <laughs> And we got a hard six winner front line. And it came back hard. Very nice. Yeah. All right. We will put uh, our nails chip right here. Side show gambles chip over on the table. All right. Point hit. Roll number five coming up. Okay. All right, let's see. Demon dog checking in. Ten or more. Well, that's good. I like that answer. So ten or more. The answer for what's a good roll. <clears throat> Dice are out. We'll uh, 
let you guys know. I said, don't worship him out. Don't, don't, don't worship him out. All right. Hopefully you listen. And we got aces in both places. Magic aces out there. I know he's doing his uh, his second round tomorrow. Good luck on that, buddy. All right. Still looking for a come out roll. Gives us another two rolls guaranteed. All right. All right, dice. Or, oh, let's take this. Put that there. Roll number six. First roller. We hit a point of six. We established it hard and hit it hard. Don't know if that information gives you anything. That's right. And we got another hard six. The third hard six in a row. Three of them in a row. All, all sixes have come hard. We're back on the six. Do you parlay when you see that? Do you put a big bet on there when you see that? That is a primary hit. Three of them so far. The yo was a secondary hit. Okay. So we got the aces. The tray tray. Okay. <sighs> We're going to Put 125 odds in a $50 hard six. Okay, that's right. And we got a four, three, one, three, one, four, easy four, big Joe. We just need the sauce, the Alfredo sauce for the small. You can always press a four and a ten. Okay. 
Don't screw up. And we got in five, three, two, five, two, three, five. All right. Fever, fever. We've hit this one before. We actually needed two on the dice in order to get a three. All right. What is that, downtown? Oh, pretty much downtown other than the yo. <clears throat> I guess I'll money shot jump in there and crapsy. Welcome, sir. All right. Uh, five, we have it 55. We'll go to a hundred. Vince Sarmenti currently in first place and online. Kilo in second, trailing not too far behind. Third place, Duracell, not online yet. Fourth place is myself, SJ, in fifth. Quite a few others. This is the perpetual, or the table that we've had running since the beginning. We had one that ran through the end of December all the way through January. Almost 70 unique people so far logged in. Thank you for the support. Let's see if we can hit this hard six. We've got three hard sixes already. Be nice. And we got an eight, six, two, eight. That's the first eight. Okay, easy eight. Eight, the call. Two, six. Again, we need that two on one of the dice if we're going to get that, uh, that ace deuce, the Alfredo sauce. Hit. Two, six this time. All right. We've officially, we'll be entering double digits here. Next roll is roll number 10. This is the first roller. All right. Four, two, four, six. We're not changing our set no matter what happens. You're along for the ride. Hopefully it's a good one. All right. Dice are out. We're going to hop the sixes. And we got a four, one, three, four. You do need a one in order to get a two. Uh, one, two, three, I mean. But, uh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I entered the wrong number. Holy hell. That was a four. My nurse. I'm over here thinking about the stupid number. It's a four. I don't know what else I can do there. Can't take that back. Fortunately, there is no undo button. 
I guess I should pay technically the fours because you guys have money on it. Although your hops would be invalid, so I'm just going to pay the four. God damn it. We did not get a three. Hopefully we do get a three and I just won't enter it. Uh, three, one, four. One, three, four. All right. Oh, let's just throw the freaking East Deuce right now so I don't have to worry about that stupid crap. Cooler Man, how's it going? That's the one thing I hate about doing crap. See, sometimes you, you make stupid mistakes. Oh, another rebuy. All right. Sorry about that. That obviously was not meant. What was I hopping? The six. All right. Nice run. And we got a hard 10. Hard 10 over on the end. Wayland's best friend. Okay, so we've hit uh, four hard ways so far. This one is an actual... It's a 3B set, so 10 hard is actually a more of a danger number than it is a a positive hit, eight and six hard, are actually really good hits because they're primary hits. You want that. Uh, but we need a 10 anyways. We're going to get the other side. We have no nine so far. When we technically have no three, I just screwed up. KPI is correct. Uh, hard 10. Oh, all right, let's just hit this damn thing so I don't have to worry about it. Like, people would have been paid it anyways. All right. That was roll number 11. All right. Um, let's do that. That's right. And we got the five, one, four, five. Pretty close to a six. Not quite. Or some buggy. <laughs> Staying on, on a lot of the same numbers, that is, a, I believe, the third five. We've had three sixes. We've had two fours. Very much uh, downtown heavy. All right. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I got too excited. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to hit it, so it's a mute point. That's my hope. One, four. All right. Nonetheless, we're on a really good starting roll. That's the major point. Let's keep on. Hey, GZ. Enjoyed your show today. Those sevens came at just a cra crazy time. Crazy time. I kept on trying to stay ahead of... I was playing a regular game to begin with and up like three or four hundred and then see Vince getting a, a marker and catching up. and uh, Out went my common sense. All right. Dice are out. And we got an eight. A three, five, eight. Three, five, eight. Easy eight. 
All right. All right. Eight is the first number on the uptown to be hit twice. First number on the uptown to be hit twice. Three, five. That was roll number 13. Okay. This is the first roller. We're trying to stay locked in. We're not changing sets no matter what happens, even as we go forward. So I have to be very good about my mechanics and about my landing zone and a lot of different things right I can't just, I can't be sloppy undo All right. let's hop that. All right, well into the profit. Let's dice around. I'm getting a little too much meat there. And we got a five, two, three, five. We've hit that number three times as a two, three, one time as a one Michael Jordan four right here uh, I recorded some of this stuff so I don't have to get as excited because I know the excitement here at the table does impact my shooting. So, but you know, when you actually do hit an ATS, when you do hit repeated points or a repeater, it is pretty exciting. It's hard to stay composed and stay to your normal regimen when you have something exciting like that actually happen. You know, you want to jump out of your shoes or something. Take a second. Take a look at uh, some of the chat. It is not easy. All right. Tough running craps. Yeah, it, it is. It's tough. It does, like... I, I think Brian can can attest to this too is it takes getting used to even from a shooting standpoint because you're stopping and you're doing different things that you normally would not do, whether you're in a shooting competition or even at the table. And sometimes that can be very distracting. It can take you a little away from maybe the a focus point and it takes just a nanosecond at the table of a lack of focus in order for you to be a millimeter off on your grip, uh, you know, a little bit off on, on the release point on anything that can just make, uh, make, make things bad. All right. Roll number 15 coming up. First roller. And we got an eight, six, two, eight. Maybe it's a two, six. We'll find out in a second. That is another eight. I progressed my eight up to 96. Um, very slow progression. If I was typically, well, then again, if this was the first time I'm shooting, I might actually do exactly what I am doing. But what I'm betting is actually probably what I would be betting in, in a normal casino where I originally started at. So here we are now with 700 on the table and 1388 K. 
taken back. We'll go to 210 on this one. And uh, we can get that next hit. We will take that hit no matter what happens as a paying hit. It can help pay for this. Uh, and it's just throwing the money down the gutter right now, putting money every single time into this uh, Ace Deuce. I do hit them, but I just haven't been on any horn. 3B set's really good at uh, avoiding. Actually, it gives you access to the horn, but you don't get a bunch of repeaters of them. All right, and we got a 10 over on the end, 6-4. Big kahuna. That is another 10. Did come easy this time. Easy 10. Already marked. We haven't seen a 3, a 12, or a 9. 3, 12, or 9 are avoiding us. Everything else has been hit twice, except for the yo was hit once and the 2 was hit once. The horn numbers, the ones you would expect. Uh, 6. Six four. Dursel now in the game. Vince went offline. He might he might get past here. Not a good time to be offline. All right. Uh, 10, you can always press. We're just going to do one. And right. Tice her up. And we got an eight, five, three, eight, another eight, that two, ten, eight, it got hit. We said we were taking it. Got to stay true to our word. That's how you lock away money, folks. You lock away money by taking some chance on your betting and then taking that hit. You can be insane and just keep on pressing it, thinking there, it's never going to end, but all... Good rolls will end at some point. Every single one of them. All right. Let's just double check. See, see if I marked all of the eights. Yeah, that's the third. All right. Three, five, eight. All right. So eight, we're taking that hit. Um, we're going to get the hard way back for it. And that will fund, again, that insatiable appetite to throw a stupid horn here that has not come. All right. Four, two, four, six. That was roll number 16. Get your grip down, get your alignment down. Try to hit your landing zone with the right amount of force, right release point. Make sure to follow through. Get another 10. There you go, six, four, 10. You can always press the 10. That's why you press the 10. People think you can't hit it. You see people lay it, and then you get a shooter like myself that's hit three fours and three tens, and they make people that lay those numbers really feel the pain. This is one roll that's pretty painful if you laid each one each time. That's six losses, plus a pass line loss, plus a come out uh, yo. 
they did get a uh, come out uh, two, which helps a little bit, but I mean, that's pretty painful. All right, that was roll number 17. Still looking for a three, a nine, and a 12. All right, that was the exact primary hit as it was tossed, that one, with one forward hit on this dice. Okay, you can always press the 10. We'll press the four as well. And uh, we'll get our hard way and our crack, our, our little habit, horn habit. We're well beyond the point of getting it hit and get recovering money from the ace deuce. We've just been betting it way too much and not hitting it. So at this point, it's a, it's a negative. If I was in the field, I would be in pretty good shape, though. So I'm a transition to the field. All right, and there it is. One, six, one, six, seven. I, uh, all rolls come to an end. And then this one, we were, we had way too many sixes, but we were controlling it for the most part. Uh, it's that one, that implosion on the left ice that that's a, the first time we've seen that one on that left ice. All right. We needed to hit that six, man. That six is what killed us by not hitting it. We uh, kept up our bets way too long. One, six. All right, we'll get that in there. We'll chat for a few seconds, see if there's any questions. That was an 18 roller. A legit 18 roller. I did screw up and enter a, a thing in in Crapsy, so the the thing is correct over here. We had no three, no nine, and no twelve. All right, <clears throat> very heavy on the downtown, and we had three tens and three eights, so pretty good. No nine. Every every other box number was was hit, uh, I believe, three times. Let's take a quick second. Let's see what we have as far as uh, chats are concerned and acknowledge people before we get on to the next one. All right. Hopefully that fan's not too, too loud. Okay. Let's see. Mm, don't have a ton of chats here. Let's acknowledge the people that are online. Is there a way to tell who's online other than scrolling? I guess I could put this full screen. All right. We got Kilo, uh, Duracell, myself, SJ, Jugadors online, and moving up, Tobo, uh, Cetro Jolie, that's Ida, Microgambler online. So, hey, Micro Gambler, we got you your 10 plus, uh, 18, not bad for a first roller. Demon Dog, uh, this is Lysine, all is well. Um, big, big cat. One, uh, OB Ram, Blue Jay Way, Money Shot, Mad Dog, Marble. All right. I've got Skill and Luck and Nemo. Okay. If you need a rebuy, get a rebuy. That's fine. Uh, we're going to get right back at, at it. I don't see any other chance, so we'll try to get you guys some more rolls in here. Um, not too bad. Starting off, first roller. Uh, with pretty decent roll. All right. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do here? I don't know why I didn't do this full screen in the first place since the beginning. Oh, my goodness. Over here squinting, trying to see who the hell. These names get so small in this window. 
they should just have it where it just like pops out. Um, all right. Uh, let's do this $10 world. We you know we can do that. $10 world, $4 there, two there, two there, two there. No, one there, one there. Okay. All right. We are out. Hopefully, you guys have your stuff in there. Hopefully, that fan isn't too obnoxious. If it is, let me know. I can turn it off. It is a little warmer here in Texas. We went from being super cold to um, pretty warm. All right. And, uh, all right. Reset 18 roller. Nice route. All right, let's check the time. We're at 5.04. So we're going to try to get, get some real good rhythm going and get as many shots out as we can here. That was a little slow to begin with. All right. My apologies. We didn't really get started until 30. So it wasn't crazy bad, but it wasn't good. All right, we got a Yo 11. Oh boy, the pain for these uh, don't players it just keeps on coming. Holy heck. A Yo on the come out roll. That's not a welcome sight to a don't. But I welcome all, all players. I think the thing that, that any player, whether you're on the light side or the dark side, need to realize is when do you switch? If you're seeing or getting hit consistently, when do you switch your your play up? Whether it's don't play the come out roll, maybe play a DC after. You know, there's nothing wrong with the DC by any means. But you should, uh, Texas JP, hey, welcome. So that you're in there, we've got 18 playing right now. We got a five, six, yo to enter in here. And we're going to get right out there. Scooting a little too much over to the right. And we got aces in both places. Okay, so hey, don't wins a little bit on the front line. I have protection here, so I actually won eighteen bucks. Um, even besides losing my line, so I'm protected from the um, potential seven on the come out roll, as well as the horn number or crap number because I, I did a world bet, an extra dollar on the aces on top of the world bet in order to give me that, that coverage I needed for the $60 I was putting on the line. So, all right. Looks like there's some messages here. Howdy. Uh, Hyperpress Nemo says howdy. JR says nice aces. There we go. All right. We'll get the aces in here. Magic aces must be out there, man, because uh, we're tossing them today. It was the 12 the last couple days, to be honest. Been throwing 12s galore. Aces have been a little less. All right. Dice are out. Still looking for a point. Just padding the stats as of right now with a yo and a ace deuce. Not a bad thing. We're not on a hard way set. We're on a 3v set, so you should expect to see some variety. Hopefully we get back to hitting box numbers. All right, and we got another yo! Oh my, giveth, taketh, giveth, or Taketh, giveth, taketh, whatever. I don't know. Depends on what side you guys are on. That's another yo. 
another frontline winner. There you go. So six five yo. Six five yo. We are not in the belief of variety. We actually want repeatability. And there you go. There's some repeatability for you. <clears throat> six five yo. The green, the bad, the green. Yeah. See a horn, better horn. If you had a world and pressed it up every single time, you'd be in pretty good shape. Because that is three world hits in a row, just so you know. All right. Dice her out. Great roll for Micro Gambler. Hyper Press Nemo. More like Smash Nemo to the ground. What? Nemo, I had an 18 roller. How the hell do you lose money off an 18 roller? Uh, Waylon, how's it going? You just missed a, a really out the gate 18 roller with some hard ways. It was pretty nice. And I, I'm starting this one off hot too with two yo's and a and aces. All right. And again, what the hell is in the water here in Texas, folks? Holy shit. That's a repeater for the aces. And four hits here early. Holy cow. Oh, my nurse. <laughs> oh, my God. Give it, take it, give it, take it. Holy hell, I did up my uh, world bet, so I actually won even more money than I won before. We're still looking for a come out roll, just like uh, Brian believes. Hey, the come out roll is to, you know, take advantage of the horn and stuff like that. I believe the same thing. <laughs> Repeater twos, not very seldom seen. It's not an easy one to hit because of how rare aces are. All right. <laughs> DCS is it's horns. Uh, I think you meant horny there, but uh, <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Let's get some added pressure here. Why not? Why not? We're hitting them. May as well. Let's get, let's make this a party. They're paying for themselves. I've already made $313 off this come out roll. And we haven't established a point. <clears throat> let's go. All right. All right. And we got a six five one six mixer. That's the six we needed. But if I hopped it three times, it would have lost because of all the come out uh, shenanigans by the shooter. Shooter, get it onto the onto the box numbers. We need some yellow. Hey, I was hitting some yellow. Uh, well, what you talking about? Yeah, someone was talking about doing an Italian show with. Uh, Vince and I both go Italian or, or in Shiro. <laughs> hey, what you talking about? Let's go. All right. Five, one, six. All right. Well, I just funded my roll here for the most part. I did over hop from the well, last one. Uh, let's see. Let's go across screen chip. Boom, boom. 
I hear you say, yeah, yo. All right. Let's go 15 on that one. Horn high. Yo. And let's go. Four, two, four, six. We are not changing dice no matter what happens. We are working to update our book here using the practice to my favor and then sharing with you bone tracker information and then actually rolling it out, whatever it recommends. All right, thanks, sir. All right, we got a 5-1 mixer right back. How about that? This shooter is not playing around today. Another point, and it get buckshot. All right, we're going to put our nail out there because he's a wonderful pillar of our community. We'll put him back here, give him a little bit more face time there. Thank you, Arnell, for all you do and for hosting me. I don't know uh, if it'll hold up. We'll see. Lots of great shooters still to go. Uh, it's definitely going to be a number that's going to be on the bubble for me. 13 is not quite. If I had gotten an 18 there, I probably would have felt pretty comfortable. But 13, hmm. There's many people that can throw that. Uh, I know Mad Dog was out there, or, or uh, Demon Dog. Let's see. Oh my goodness, so many chips, so many great uh, people in our community here. Holy heck. Yeah, his is green. Okay. Demon Dog, there you are, right there. All right, we'll put him on the six. There we are. And uh, pick up the dice. Let's get going. Sorry about that. Getting too excited, folks. Too excited. All right. Four, two, four, six. Vic, how's it going? Nemo, if you're going dark on me, I mean, come on, man. I just came off a big roll, and, and, and you're going dark. Uh, get on the right side of the trend, not the wrong side. Holy hell. See a locomotive come in, and you jump in the way. You're going to get run over. All right. Um, dice her out. But play whatever side you think is the next thing to come. That's what this game is all about. Can you figure the trend correctly? And we got... There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get a little bit of the sauce coming right here. Yeah, we want some Italian dinner. We can't do the dinner without the sauce. Let's go. Got that Alfredo sauce thing I was missing on the time before. We got the sauce. All right. A little bit of the sauce right there. One, two, sauce. The Alfredo sauce, Alfredo sauce. <laughs> He's probably laughing his ass off out there. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I love this game. All right. Sometimes it can be painful, don't get me wrong, but when things go well, it's it's great to have fun at the table. <laughs> Nothing better. All right. All right, let's switch it up. We're going to do that. And then that. There. All right.
right, and we've got a nine, five, four, nine, Nina, Nina, Nina. That is our new point. It's a neener. A neener on the leaner. Nine. All right, here's your four. Right there. Here's your five on a leaner. Leaner, neener. Neener, leaner. Those were the two things we didn't hit last time, right? The three and the and, and the nine. We're just missing the twelve as far as things we didn't hit. The dice are getting interesting. They're starting to move on to different uh, avenues there. I've already paid off the roll because of the high odds that I put on the pass line. So uh, let's get a six. And we'll go for 66 there. The nine, we'll go for 20. And we're ready in the profit. So we're free and clear. We can press up. We can do what we want. Go one hit across there. All right. All right. We had very few horns, and now all of a sudden we're getting horny. Isn't that funny? Very few, and now they're coming like they're like a, I don't know. I, I pulled me off that one. I was going to say something, but it'd probably be a little, little, little crude, right? Five, four, nine. Let's roll number eight. All right. And we got the 12. We talked about it, folks. Everything we didn't hit on the last roll already hit. Uh, that could be a really good sign. It could be a sign of, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you take it for what you will. We've hit every single horn number. Every single one. And the aces twice. How about that? How about that? We are on the nine, by the way. All right. Oh, my nurse, right? We got all the dots and all the spots. Good, good night. You got dots and all the spots. All right. Certified horny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. I think this goldfish will figure that out. Yeah, I don't know. I hope you figure it out. I don't want anyone to lose money when I'm shooting, but sometimes you have to play differently. I mean, I'm not always shooting good, so you can go back to every single live and see that. I do find it sometimes, so I think that's why people, maybe that and the ridiculous personality I have show up. All right. Let's go. We need a nine. Ten wouldn't be a bad thing either. It'll give us an ability to hedge with the eight. All right. Double check the grip as we have been the last couple of days. Look good. Felt good. We got a six. A four, two, six. Two by four. We're guaranteed, folks. That was number 10. That was number 10. Double digits to start in both rolls. What about that? What do you think about that? Give me a little uh, a little like out there if you haven't liked the video so far. I think that's worthy of a like. Both rollers, we had three sixes. Not necessarily where I want to stop for two. But you can make money off that. Okay. All right. We did hit a 10 and I didn't mark it. Oh, no, we didn't hit a 10. We hit a yo. Never mind. 
two, four, six. Uh, da -da, da -da. Let's go up forty two. This is why I put in practice. This is actually one of my favorite sets anyhow. That's why I'm using it as a base. All right, and we got a nine, five, four, nine, winner on the front line, chicken dinner. Whatever water I drink, it must be pretty damn good because we're hitting it. We'll put uh, CGTV up there. CGTV just hit a thousand subscribers. You may very well see my show here with Crapsy. All almost all of the lives as I go forward with Crapsy, all on the CGTV network. So, um, gonna work with uh, John. We'll see what we can make happen. Um, lives that obviously as much as i like them do kill my channel a little bit uh, from growing so any help you can give me in getting subscriptions that would be nice we have our watch hours easily made already i want to be able to bring you guys this entertainment and consistent shooting um but i also want the channel to make sure that it grows so i can take things on the road make, give you some live casino action and uh, continue to grow. That was uh, Toothpick Ted. I was able to host him last night. Had a great, great roll uh, of 14 as his high. Uh, that should be pretty strong. I think he's he's past that uh, that breaking point. Uh, I think 13 might be the uh, it might be on the bubble. All right, five, four, nine. And, uh, wow, some people need rebuys. Oh, my. They must be going dark and being stubborn. Of course, you see a shooter going in the right direction. If you start off late, it may seem like it's the wrong way to turn because you're already deep in with, you know, maybe don't comes or lays or something like that, and then you get clipped. But I don't know. Uh, I know, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Just play smart. Sometimes you have to go with, with, uh, the momentum and sometimes it turns and the momentum shifts and then you have to make another adjustment. And so it's not a, I can't, none of us can sit here and tell you a strategy and say, it's going to work no matter what. It's just not, right? Most of the strategies that are out there, they work in certain instances. But if you don't make that adjustment according to what the table's giving you to encoder what, according what the shooter is doing, you could easily be playing a very valid and great strategy, but it would lose um, just because of the confluence of what, what the shooter's shooting. So make adjustments, don't be afraid especially while you still have chips when you you want to make the adjustment before you get to you know a loss of 50 percent or something like that so you can turn it around hopefully and don't be afraid to take it down to felt get three four five hits take it down to felt guys are out all right we got aces again oh my that is another another set of aces Holy schmoles, we're catching up the KPI. Uh, aces are ahead of 12s now. Holy heck, isn't that, isn't that crazy? Wow. Another set of aces. Uh, 
Anyone out there with a world bet? Anyone out there going to parlay a world bet? I got a world bet. We're going to press that puppy up. Maybe not to the moon, but we're going to press it up at least what it's paid out. So we have a good chance to be able to make something out of it. Very profitable rule already. Uh, I'm going to have to go a little heavier here to cover all the hopping. Just in case. All right. That's right. <clears throat> <laughs> oh man there's plenty of sharks out there man we i play an aggressive conservative play that's what i call it it's aggressive conservative conservatism in my play i'm not afraid to bet but i want to i want to i want to be able to see it first right Trust, but verify is what I say. I trust, but I want to verify. You show me. Five. Four, one, five. Horse and buggy. That's a new point. Five is the new point. So uh, we are now with an opportunity to get the five or three point fire here on this hand. As five is a unique point. We just need the four for the small. All right, there's your one. Here's four. Four, one, five. I didn't get any cheering for myself on that one when we hit the point, but I'm still a little too late. All right. Uh, let's get back on that nine. Nine was pretty good to us. We have a pretty hefty line bet, so we're not going to add additional odds beyond the 40 that's already there. Kalani, how's it going? See you jumped in. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's make sure that's the right number. Oh, we didn't put the 401 in there. Let's roll number 13. So 14 coming up. All right. This is just the second shooter. First shooter was an 18. And we got another saucy hit, the Alfredo sauce again. Alfredo sauce. Holy hell, the horn is hopping. 2-1. 3. And I didn't, I, I didn't play it again. I don't know what the hell's my problem. I normally always do. Oh, my. 2-1-3. Alfredo stop. All right. Yeah, don't need to mark that one. It's been hit. We could have used the three one. That would have been nice. All right. Well, we're certainly seeing repeatability in the combinations. That's good. All right, four two, four six. I'm not going to chase that one down. We'll just do a ten dollar world bet. We have nineteen playing with us a lot. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. 
Roll number 15 coming. And we got a five, a one, four, five. That is the point. Beaver five. All right, we're going to do the one, four. We're going to put it in the KPI. We're going to check out chat when we come back, but we're this time we're going to get our cheer here. Oh man, the don't pass is having a really bad day today. A uh, horrific day today, you can say. I did have a couple of come out horn numbers, so they made a little bit back, but I mean, these points and, and then the other yo's and stuff coming out as well. Net, net, it's killing them. All right, so we're going to have Mid Atlantic Craps. Uh, let's see. Uh, there you are. We're going to put him over on the five on the table. And then Sideshow Gamble out there. You saw him on, on the uh, Craps chat last night. Anyone that ha has a. Um, Anyone that ha has a coin, feel free to reach out to me and get my information if you want yours featured here. Boosts, not cheers. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that, darling. You should celebrate hitting a point. Shit. There's so many times where you, where none of us end up hitting hitting points. You know, you get three of them. You should be uh, not screaming at the rafters, but you should be pretty happy about it. All right, dice route. Um, couple people getting kicked in, kicked out. Tester up. We did hit the one repeater so far, just the twos. All right. And we got the eight. Oh, four point fire is a possibility. Five, three, eight. Have a chance. There's, you're saying there's a chance. Five, three, eight. All right. Five, three, eight. That means we only need the 10 and the four. Sister numbers. In order, we've hit neither one of them this time around. We hit, in the first roller, we hit three of each. I think four, one. Isn't that crazy how that works out sometimes? Five, three, eight. When you can avoid in a long roll multiple box numbers, it does mean your dice are doing uh, very similar things. <clears throat> All right, that was number 16. And eight is the point. All right, we'll take a quick gander over at chat. All right, let's go. Oh, that's the only thing that kills you, a back-to-back -back, uh, um, uh, buckshot? Yeah, well, got to know, know, uh, know your sample, who you're dealing with. Some people are capable of hitting back-to-back -back numbers. Uh, I, 
actually everyone's capable of it. So. Doesn't happen all that often. I will attest to that. However, when it when when you have momentum, whatever whatever direction it's going, um, it can get painful if you're swimming against the tide. All right, we're gonna hop the four and ten. I just have a feeling. One of those feelings that it's, you know, they're both they're both out there. All right. They're out there for the taking. I'm salivating over it. I want it. Let's get it. Give me some four and ten. All right. <clears throat> All right. That's yes, right. And we got a five, a one, four, five. All right, that'll work. Beaver five. Um, Mm. All right. One, four, five. Of course, we need the one, three if we want the small. We need the ten if we want the tall. And we need both if we want them all. And we need the eight if we want the fire bet, the four point fire bet. All right, one, four, five. I already have it in there. I already have my bets. Good, we're out. <clears throat> Anyone want to share what's the most you lost by going against the tide on a long roll? You thought the whole table was going bad and you kept pouring money into the don't or into lays or something like that. Anyone want to share? What was the most? You lost on one shooter and the shooter kept going and kept going. Be interesting to talk through that story. And we got a seven, five, two, holy hell. That had way too much energy on it. It bounced all the way back. That was not what I wanted. Okay, has to end sometime. We did not get the four point fire on that one. Five, two, you certainly could have uh, laid if you had the ATS for a decent amount. Um, now, lays only pay one to two, but you're guaranteed if one hit what that money was. All right. All right. Let me clear all this out. Wolf. All right. Second shooter. Is that the same as the first one or one short? I don't know. All right. That is a two five. Two five seven. That was another eighteen roller. Wow. Both of them eighteen rollers. Thirty six rolls in the first two rollers. Would you color up after that? Walk the cage. Oh, I didn't put it in here. Sorry. Two five. <clears throat> All right, 
let's take a quick look over here. What is this message? Don't miss out. All right. Well, probably already at 30 something. I know it's taken a little, a little bit longer. Uh, I was enjoying the rolls. Uh, so we'll go one more roller, especially if it's long. Um, and I think that'll be it for tonight. Let's see what comments we have here. I hadn't entered it in yet. Yeah. The recovery? What are you talking about? And I fall again. This is starting to get annoying. What's happening, Skill? What's getting annoying? When the sevens are coming on, on roll 18? <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, I don't see any questions. We're going to get right back at it. We might have two rollers. It's We're just going to look to get to that 50 mark as close to it as possible. Um, not going to do it just to do it. So if I get uh, slightly short of it, I should say 18. But all right. All right. Not bad. Interesting set of events right uh three twos in one roll and uh we had a two in the prior one all right four two four six we'll reset the kpi we'll get back out there two eighteens wow i'll take that any day of the week and twice on sunday All right. And we got a hard eight. Isn't that funny? We needed the eight and we got a hard one right after. Ah, they say hop the eight. Hop it the next time, next time by, right? All right. We'll probably, let's see how this goes, but maybe if we get a few rolls, quite a few rolls in, we'll make this one the last one so you can jump over to um, Mid Atlantic Cramp with Jeff on his table. He puts on a great show and uh, actually shoots pretty well. He, he had the best. Uh, the best round coming out of the first round of the qualifier. Hard eight. I think everyone told them not to talk. Probably what I should should do too, right? Don't talk. All right, we're not gonna get crazy. Let's let's let the the thing fund itself. All right. Um bum bum. All right. Oh, skill keeps on getting kicked out. Uh, get your uh, get your bets in, skill. I'll give you a second. I saw you just rejoined. I've been clipping them on the moon bow. Yeah. All right. Dice are up. Uh, ouch. All right. Snipers be sniping today. Okay. Uh-oh. 
we got the, we got the fourth the thing we needed. Of course, the first two things, your point and the and one of the sides that we needed to hit the the freaking ATS, they both hit back to back. This game is so full of baloney sometimes, man. It is unreal. Unreal. Just totally unreal. I'm like, what What do you say to that? It's just like, wow. You know? I should have passed the dice to myself. Hey, come back in, in two minutes and throw the point and then throw, throw the small. What about it? Holy hell. Oh, okay. Four is a good number. Yeah, here comes the ten. Off <laughs> the tenth, folks. It's coming. It, it's it's the it's the curse of the ATS. It's it's the way that the. It's like they 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 just dangle it in front of you. Like, see, see, he could have hit it. He could have hit it. Absolutely. Oh my nurse. Just because you said that, I'm hopping in. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm nuts. That uh, certainly could be some days. All right, let's go. <clears throat> All right. How do I manage to only win $4 off of four? All that hopping in the beginning. All right. Dice wrap. And we got a six, a six, five, one, a mixer. No ten. All right. What? Where? Uh, you guys didn't even have reservations last time. I wasted an hour and a half just waiting. Sorry. Well, that was ridiculous. I'll tell you that. All right. Five, one, six. Tell her I'll take her out on the weekend. Pick the spot. All right. Uh, mixture. Let's go up 30. Five. Um, we're good to go. And a six and a four. Put this for visualization. Don't know why this clicker isn't working. Dice around. Of course, it didn't hop it now. Now it'll come. And we got a 12. Get dots on all the spots. Wow. We're banging out these horns like no tomorrow. And I probably didn't. I wasn't on the horn that time. I bet. Every single time I've been off the horn, it's hit. Wow. All right. Let's see. Oh, I was on it. Okay. What did I have? Okay, I got a, a yo and a ace deuce horn high. All right. Let's up this another 12. Go 40 here and 40 there. All right. 
Okay. Row number five. Double check the grip, alignment, landings. And we got a five, a three, two, five. All right. All right, now we need those ace deuces that we're hitting, the Alfredo sauce, and the aces. All right, two, three, five. We'll take it. All right. All the... Uh, Low side box numbers hit plus the eight. Um, hmm. Nice run. Four two four six. That's right. And we got a four. That is the winner. Oh no, it's not. Sorry. One three four. Just another four. All right. Mark the five. This last time. All right. One, three, four. Kahuna, kahuna, out the door. Hmm. You can always press a four. Let's press a ten just in case. All right. Taking a little bit of a chance here. One row. All right, guys, you're out. Okay. I'm not, no. We're good. Yep. All right, guys, you're out. And we got a nine, a six, three, nine. Oh my, oh my, oh my. It's a neener, it's a pineapple, it's a pineapple. Three, six, nine. It's a the pineapple. Of course, that's the one I have the least on. It's like the, uh, they want to taste me. They want to taste me. I'm like, come on, go ahead. Put black chips on everything, on everything. Right when you do that, we're going to whack you right in the face. Huh? Get out of here. What you doing that for? 
putting all these black chips out in play. All right. We got the Nina. The Nina. Nice round. <sighs> and we got an eight. Five, three, eight. Winner on the front line. Oh, shit. Didn't. Sorry. I don't think you guys. I think the delay saved it. But uh, hopefully no one has like super duper human speed five three eight winner another frontline winner another don't killer oh my not the day of playing the dark side that's for sure it would be painful you might be able to strategically get a hit in there now and then and hopefully just take it down when I hit a crap number, but holy hell. Be losing your shirt otherwise. Alright. We're gonna feature two more chips here. We got Craps Hawaii right here. Uh right there. And we have Chef Dice. Jeff Dice right there. We'll put the Krebs way over on the table on the eight. Ooh, pretty close. And we'll put uh, Chef Dice right here. Okay. All right. Back on the come out roll. Nice round. We are guaranteed all double digit rolls tonight, every single one of them. With that last hit, we're guaranteed to beat at 10 or more. Two 18s, and we'll see what this one ends at. This will be the last one. We will hopefully get you guys all over to uh, Jeff. Nice rep. And we got a hard eight. We're back on the eight. Oop, right where the puck is. That is the third eight. All right. Hard eight. Back on the eight and uh, that belongs on the eight. Okay. That was roll number nine. This is going to be roll number ten. Eat the hard way. I am regressing at this point, so if that means anything to you, take your time and pull your bets down or regress them or go off for one roll or whatever you want to do. I don't know. Everyone has different superstition. Let me take a look. I have a lot out there. 870 in play, as a matter of fact. Taking it all down, go down to 105 still in play due to the ATS. Um, we'll go 25 there. All green. All red twice. Inside. Inside. 344. $2 on each of the hardways. All right. 
and we'll do this and parlay it into a horn. All right. You had your fair warning. I did regress. I did let you know I was regressing. I will be a guaranteed winner. Over 1,500 added to my chip count today. I didn't go for a crazy gusto. I could have. Some of you did. Some of you went dark and hopefully changed quickly enough to make back some of it. Okay. Dice her up. And we got aces in both places. We've hit that so many times tonight. It's unreal, right? Like way defying the odds. We've not even hit 50 rolls. And how many do we have tonight? Five? That's not natural. <laughs> you shouldn't have that many in, in, in that sort of a time stint, but we have. Oh, but we have. All right. That means we need the ace deuce for the small. That does mean we're now at officially 10 rolls. We're coming up on number 11. Check out that SOR and SRR. It's the same. It's unreal, right? Oh, my. 4, 2. 4, 6. Um, Test right. And we got a ten over on the end. We needed that too. Six four ten. Ten easy. Four, six, ten. Easy. Wayland's best friend over on the end. And let's get that ten. We're back to only needing the yo and the ace deuce. Fredo sauce. Um, they're on the same axial right across from each other. So... Theoretically, if we can get one, we should be able to get the other. We know we can get one because we've done it. Last row, we had three. We had at least one yo and two threes. All right. And it was with this set, so... Hey, no shoes. How's it going? Missing some great rolling. This is going to be the last roller. All right. That was roll 11. This is roll number 12. First two were 18. And we got a hard 10, 10 back to back, and it came hard. All right. 10 goes to 100. All right. <clears throat> hard 10 guys don't check the leaderboard right now until the thing finishes as we're going through you're you're slowing the game down by querying the server so you can see the leader leaders but just by scrolling up and down if you click, click the leaderboard you're just going to slow down the query 
So hard ten. All right, that was roll number twelve. All right. Nice route. <clears throat> and we got a hard eight winner front line and it came hard. It's the fourth eight. Get your bits in. That was roll number 13. Roll, we're guaranteed 15 rolls this roll. This uh, person. That is, in fact, the second point hit during this shooter. We hit three last time. Uh, we'll go pro craps over on the table. You know how this thing looks in here. I can show you there. Pro craps. Okay. They'll be right there with Uncle Mel and craps Y. And we'll feature Big AZ. But it's another pass line hit. Big AZ. Okay. Pound the dot. That was a top side, top side hit. Had a hundred on the hard eight. Nice. Nice. All right. I'm going to hop the hard ways for a couple each. Dice route. <clears throat> or two, four, six. And we got a nine, six, three, nine, Nina. All right, back, back up. We're on the nine. Did that go in there? It did. All right. All right, four, two, four, six. Is that, I don't know, is that good or? Oh, yeah, uh, the ten should not be exceeding the nines, that's for sure, right? From a normal graph. <laughs> uh, that is that is very true. Uh, all right, we got 14, we're good to go. Eight. Nice round. Not funny. Each one of these shots was better than my second round. 18, 18. We're on roll number 15.
and we got a hard 10 over on the end hard 10. it's another 10 adds to that uh, number there duracell another one All right, hard 10. Yeah, sixes and eights are almost passing the, uh, the sevens. I'm not gonna have any more guest shooters on this crapsy. I do not want the numbers to be deviating from what I'm actually tossing. Um, I will, if I do any guest shooters, it'll have a new crapsy just to maintain the purity of what my stats are. Um, not to be, I just, it, if I'm going to utilize these stats, I need to make sure that I know that, 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 that the shots are coming from me, right? Like, it doesn't do me any good if, if I'm utilizing it and, and it's not my actual shots, right? All right. Four two four six. That was roll number fifteen. Here's number sixteen. All over fifteen today. Each of the rolls. Interesting. That's right. Oh, they split, but we got lucky. A six two eight. We have a pretty big eight out there too. Easy eight. All right. Big into a good rhythm here. Um, hard eight came down, but we had a pretty big number up there on the eight. Okay, sir. That was roll number 16. Coming up on roll number 17. That's right. All right, and we got a nine, winner nine. We're guaranteed, guaranteed to beat the roll because we just hit the point. Wait, yeah, that's the point. Okay, good. Um, I didn't hear it say pass line winner, but I have it on the turbo, so I guess it doesn't. All right, six, three, nine. So we're guaranteed to have the longest roll be the last roll, period. Because that was 17. We're guaranteed 19 minimum. Uh, all right. Select two from here um, that we haven't done. Let's do bird dog. Holy roller. All right. Here's the holy roller. I'm not gonna. And then here's bird dog. Bird dog ship. All right, we'll put him over on the nine. Okay. It is a three, six, nine. All right. Wow. There's another front line winner. <laughs> A ton of pass line hits. The dark side had a bad day. Okay. All right. 
Let's get an ace deuce. That would be nice for everybody. This will be the first day I don't hit one, but then again, I've thrown at least four to five shooters on the prior days. All right. Roll 18 coming up. All three of the rolls will be at 18, but this is guaranteed 19 at minimum. Last round. And we got an ace deuce. We got it. Let's go. Let's go. That is unbelievable, right? Last roll, all rolls, all over 18, hitting the small with this one, officially hitting the small with this one. The other one was not hit, it was a missed entry, but the number was still 18 rolls. Un friggin' believable. Is that small? All right. Unbelievable. The true SOR is <laughs> way higher than eight. I, I, I've only had three throws, three toss, three uh, shooters. Don't, or are you just saying what the normal average person does? Oh, you're talking about uh, the, the numbers in there, yeah. yeah. True SOR, yeah. All right. Oh boy. All right. Let's, uh, I think I might have double clicked on that. Or did I? And one, one too many. Take one back. All right. Guarantee 20. This roller. Still a come out roll. If we hit the yo here, oh boy. Shit, I better hit record because we might hit the yo. Let's go. Let's hit that damn yo. <sighs> Babe Ruth right here. Hit it. Back to back. Uh oh. Got a five. Three, two. Uh, they came down and clacked each other. All right, three, two, five. All right. Put in some comments, folks. I definitely will read them, and then we'll try to get everyone over to Jeff's channel. I appreciate you staying. I really, really do. I don't, you know, most people don't run from a from a good table. So, three, two. All right, four, two, four, six. You never know how you how long you're gonna throw, how well you're gonna throw. Yeah, yeah. This new data that I'm doing is from three since three days ago. I've only been using the four two four six set, and it's actually the set that predominantly previously I've been. It's been telling me that I should use from a three V um, cluster. So. 
hopefully it's going to help you guys when I share the data. And if it's a different set that it recommends, let's let's take a gander and see what what we can do with it. Um, that'll be interesting, right? All right, let's go. Eighteen hundred and thirty-two dollars one so far on this roller. That was rule number nineteen. Rule twenty coming up. Oh, they split again for a five three eight. They're they're staying in unison so much so where they're they're now hitting each other on the way down. That's how locked in right now this is. That is the fifth eight on this roller. Every number today, except for the 12, is going to end higher, including the two, than the sevens. Put that into thought. 50-something rolls. And every number, except for the 12, will, will potentially end higher. The 12 could end higher. I've already hit two of them. If I hit one more, it could stay in a tie. But every other number has at least three or more. Isn't that crazy? Today. I have five twos today. Wow. <sighs> yep. Three, three, five, eight. All right. Eight's going to go to 300. Still looking for an 11. Yeah. One hell of a session so far on this one, this for sure. I've had some monster rolls, but I don't know how many times I've had the lowest roll be an 18 and have three rollers or more. That that's pretty that's pretty dang locked in. All right. Roll number 21 coming up. Nice route. And we got a hit. Yeah, we got it. Let's go. We just hit the all. That's the way you freaking do it. Let's go. All of them. Every single one of them. Boom. You can get back on the ATS now, guys. Woo! Holy hell. Look at the KPI in just one second. Check your screen. Incoming. Incoming. I might just have to do an impromptu late tonight after after uh, um, Jeff goes. Maybe do a, a little talk show, man. Jeez Louise. Holy hell. Woo! 21 hits, hitting the all. I've hit three points. We're on a point of five, and we're still going. Oh, my nurse. Nice hit. Awesome. Awesomeness. <laughs> uh, yeah, Alfredo, the crapsy killer. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my nurse. Let's freaking go, man. Holy hell. Ah, yeah, that was... There's a lot of pressure, man. I mean, I put a lot of practice in, but there's some days I stink when I, when I come up here and just don't do well, you know? I think... Uh, you know, the expectation sometimes is there that that I do do this every time, right? I'm going to go 25, 25, 25 on the ATS. Who knows? Might be able to get it again. Maybe not. But I'll, I'll be okay with that, right? All 
Oh, why did I do a contract bit? I didn't need to do that. Um, undo, 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 undo. All right, there we are. And add. All right. Did I start? <clears throat> wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, full ATS hit. Uh, my roll tonight, 1818. I'm on the last roller, 21 already, and I just hit the full ATS or now. Three points hit. I'm on point number four. I hit three points prior, almost got to the fourth. It's been a crazy night, 1818, and we're on 22 and counting. Dice route, three V set, four two. Four six. All right, hard six. Let's go. Let's go. On axis, primary hit. All right, so you could go back on it once we hit it. So we're gonna, the, in order to show that we're we've hit it again, it'll go backwards here on the table. I'll try to get a little bit more rhythm going. I'll try to calm down a little bit so I'm not too amped up. Just rolled 18. I'll go watch that too. So you rolled all the the ATS and 18 rolls today, Kevin? Watch Kevin's channel, Crooked River Craps. Great guy. He's very respective of everyone else. He goes on. He has really good content. Go watch his channel. Give him a like. Give him a sub. Crooked River Cap Craps. That's Kevin. You guys all know my, my buddy Arnell, man. He He's one hell of a shooter. You ever get to, to shoot with him, you better be betting the ATS on him, too as well as the fire bet. He's a certified fresh shooter as well. <sighs> okay. Dice are out after we hit the tray tray. <laughs> Calm the hell down, Alfredo. Number 23. Dice route. And we got a six. Four, two. Oh, boy. Didn't lock you guys out. Sorry about that. Four, two, six. That's two sixes, both of them coming in a row. Three total. Four, two. All right, I think I'm calm. Gotten past the danger zone. We'll uh, hopefully go from here. Oh, man. Before you guys leave, put how much you won tonight in your crapsy betting. Um, how much you secured? I'd like to know. Hopefully those that were going heavy on the dark side went light, because if they did, they were in for a treat on this roll number three. All right. Oh, you're welcome, Kevin. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm always at your channel. I love, love your stuff. As of right now, I've made $5,432 on this roll. And I haven't been betting out of hand. This has been organically pressed up outside of the ATS. All right. Roll number 24.
and we got another six for two again. Three in a row. That's the fourth total six. Again, appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 500. I think I'm only um, three subscribers away from five. Really like to get, you know, by the end of next month uh, up to 750. I think it's possible. You know, let your friends know, people that, that uh, like Crapsy or that like the game of Craps on playing Crapsy, come join. Come join us and, and uh, be part of, the, part of the group here would be awesome to continue to add folks to the uh, Craps family here. All right. <clears throat> okay. Dice are out. We press that to 210 and got that hit. Isn't that wonderful? All right. Um, we're going to go to 300. Bring back up the hard six. We're on the point of five. <clears throat> drop, a, drop a comment in the, in the video as well. It, it helps. Let me know what you guys want to see beyond, beyond just the live content. You know, I go to Vegas very frequently. I'd love to meet up with many of you. All right. And we got a seven. Five, two. Oh, five, two. That four, two was opening up that five, two. I knew, I knew it, but I had already told you guys I'm not changing the set no matter what, because I want to keep it pure so I know what my dice are doing um, from that perspective. That could have been one that I would normally um, change, seeing two four twos in a row. Nothing against the four two, simply um, that it opens the five two up. All right, on that on that hit. So go over to Jeff's channel. Let's look at the stats from today. That is five two. Oh my! Give me a second. Turn this around here. Um, that was a twenty five. All right. Let's see. Oh. Stats. Oh, I don't even have that up, do I? Well, I can go to this screen here. What does that want to show? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's something back there. I got it. Let's move it up. screen escape all right check the leaderboard i'll post the stats i don't want to uh, lengthen this too much i'm gonna just show the leaderboard real quick of who we have it might take a while because this uh it's a huge crapsy i wonder if chuck was in this one yeah, it's not coming up. All right, folks, let's just look at, at some of the chats. I'm going to take that off. Uh, all right. uh, let's go over to the feed real quick. All right. Um, that over there. Let's see what chats we have that are here. Awesome. Mainly ATS. 
One to 32,000. Bad shooter. Holy hell, Badger. Wow. I'm playing a different game. Uh, inside out. Thank you from Fuzzy very much. You delivered not just good rolls. You were great. Thank you, Micro Capitaler. I know you told me that you're like at least 10 in 18, 18, 25. Isn't that, isn't that, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Wow. Including a full ATS hit. Alfredo just came from out of town and you had just hit your ATS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was it was nuts, man. 18, 18, and 25, including the full ATS. Um, shooting today. Yeah. Thank you. I'm a low better and still made 1,200. Nice. Um, SJ, good shooting session today. Yeah, yeah, great. Well, hey, guys, you know, uh, couldn't do it without without all of you. I appreciate it. It was super exciting um, to have hit it. Luckily, I did hit the record button, so I do know that there's going to be something in there that I can probably pull out from a from a short perspective and and redo it. So that'll that'll be exciting. Put that out. Um, let people know, man. Uh, you know about the channel. I want to continue to grow and uh, appreciate all of you. Uh, get over to Jeff Mid Atlantic Craps. He should be going, if not going to be going. And um, appreciate all of you. He's another great person. Uh, let's see. I won't let me pull up. Yeah, the, the stats I told you, it's going to be hard to pull up the leaderboard right now because of the number of people that we're in and, and how many shooters there are. No shoes. Great shooting. Thank you. Number one, baby. <laughs> Damn you, Vince. I'm not chasing you, man. I'm not chasing you. I'm playing my own game. I think I, I won over 6,000 today. I'd be happy with that. You know, uh, could I have won what Badger won, 30 or 40,000 off of those rolls, off that last one? For sure. Um, so, yeah, definitely. Uh, made 1150 in the first roller, 1299. 7,000. Wow. Over 10,000 kilo. That is awesome. Vince said he made 20 K on the third roller. Wow. I appreciate you guys, man. Hit, hit the like button, put some comments, you know, send some subscribers my way. I want to continue to grow this. I want to take this, what we do here into the casino so you can see more of it. And we can meet up with, other Craps Nation folks and be able to have you guys on the table as it's being filmed. I do have some connections where I can. I do need to make sure that the, the channel itself is approved by the corporations and many of them want to see that you're monetized already. So uh, the, the quicker we can get there, I already have all of the watch hours. Uh, so anything you could do to get me more subs from those of you that know people that play craps that would be appreciated. Every one person counts because uh, you can see how long it took Casino Gaming TV. And I know we'll get there. Um, that's why I want to transition some of this content, the live content over to there, because it does make it hard for a longer video to be recommended. Um, versus my other videos and my shorts, they seem to actually gain me more subscribers. And so um, anything you guys can do to help, that would be great. Squeeze in the live stream in there too. Yep. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll do some live streams for sure. I'm, I'm going to have the other show and I'm going to try to regimen that to be more like a 45 minute show uh, or even 30 minute show if we could do it. Um, but I'm thinking 45 minutes to an hour uh, would be great. 3,500 up from the last shooter. Great skill. That's awesome. Um, I think that was, I was up 4,000 something on the last shooter. But overall, I think um, all three shooters together, something like 6,000, maybe 7,000. Something like that. Dual stream. Oh, I can dual stream. I dual stream all the time. Yeah. Yep. We can do that. Smash the like button, subscribe for great content. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Uh, 
uh, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's not every day you're going to have roles like that. And, and some days, you know, you know, it's frustrating, but I do try to, to make valid adjustments. This is probably one of my better sets outside of the hard way set, which can actually get you in more trouble than, than, than anything else. The way this set is set up, the way my forward hit and my backwards hit are set on the right dice. Instead of having threes on top, like a normal traditional 3B, I have the fours on top because my dice go in different directions. And this is more prone to protect the explosion or implosion that I typically have, given what combination would be on top or be exposed. So um, we're going to look and see after utilizing a lot of the, the stats on where, where that ultimately lands. But we're going to end it here. Get over to to uh, um, to Jeff uh, from Mid Atlantic Craps. I appreciate all of you uh, for sticking in with me. I have my schedule already posted. Uh, Check out the Facebook page that Duracell has put out there. Uh, you'll see the content providers that are going live with Crapsy that are there. Um, again, I'm humbled by, by, by how much support and how many active people we have playing in Crapsy. Thank you, Brian, from the Hawaii Crap Shooters and all of the Hawaii Crap Shooters crew that always come in and, and join uh, a lot of my, my lives and a lot of my um, Crapsy, I appreciate it. Thank you to Crooked River, to Vince, to uh, Skill and Luck, Dylan, SJ, everyone. Like you all always come. Demon Dog's always here. You know, we have uh, Magic Ace is always here. Uh, John's been jumping in uh, from, from time to time. Bird Dog. I mean, it's, it's, it's humbling that you guys uh, give me as much attention. Uh, so it's a lot to, to, to sort of put out there, right? Like I want to shoot well and and i'm hard on myself when i don't and i actually sometimes after the camera's off will shoot even longer just to figure out what 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 am i doing wrong and this is why i like not changing my set because i need to figure out grip wise landing zone wise what i'm doing wrong and that is a tougher 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 thing to do i'll tell you because it's far easier to go to a set that you know that combats what you're seeing than it is to fix the flaws that are in your toss currently. And it may not even be a flaw. It may just be that you're one revolution too heavy. And, and so finding the right landing zone for the, for the set that you have is very different. And, and, and a lot of people just don't realize that. But I think those are the things. I have that new thing. Check out my Discord. If you want free lessons, whether it be on dice influencing or betting, I'm going to give up my, my free time to be able to do that. I just ask that we record a short 10 to 15 minute session toward the end, recapping some of the different things that we were doing. And I'm going to be putting out those videos so all of you can see some of the different things that folks are, are asking about, whether it be betting, whether it be, um, you know, gripping the dice, uh, you know, the dice toss or, or whatever. Uh, I'm going to be putting in that time for the community to give back to the community that has given me so much of their time. So great, uh, great night. Take care. Remember chips in the rack. They don't come back Hit the cage because after a big roll like that, that's money in your pocket. Take care.